face, I am yours Jesus, you are mine Endless joy and perfect peace Your earthly pain finally will see Celebrate, Jesus is alive in my history textbook as a kid. They uh, told us that it wasn't real. <laughs> Jordan, don't be so naive. You can't believe everything you read on the internet. Anyway, this is a map to something even better. This is a map to eternal life. Well, uh, Michael, what? Yeah. Nova, Totem, Teravim, Orbis, Geographica, AC, Hydrographica, Tabla, Oct, Henrihandio, a.k.a. Eternal Life. So hold on, you're talking about eternal life, eternal life, like, like, like eternal life in Jesus, eternal life. Uh, yeah, that's what I just said. Okay, no, you're not going to find it, because this is the wrong map. What do you mean this is the wrong map? Yeah, uh, the map that you need is a Bible. Get your Bible. You're saying the map is in the Bible? Yeah, you don't find eternal life in a location. It's not, it's not somewhere on the globe. It's just, it's in your Bible. You'll find eternal life by reading your Bible. Then, Jordan, you know what this means? You gotta get your Bible here right away. I gotta find this. The, okay, you didn't hear me. It's not a location. It's something that's freely given to you when you put your faith and your trust in Jesus. Huh. Yeah. You look confused. So, I am. let's watch this video first, and then we'll get our Bibles and we'll talk about it. Cool? Sounds cool. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Well, salvation is not a place that you can touch or find on a map, specifically a world map. Salvation is a real thing that we can get from Jesus. And in Acts chapter 15, the church is trying to figure out, well, who can get salvation? Who did Jesus die for? Was it for the nation of Israel only? Or was it for the Gentiles as well? And the whole reason why there's a big hang up is because to be a Jew, you had to do a lot of things. You had to follow a lot of laws, dietary laws. There was many, many rules that you had to follow in order to be considered a Jew. And then Jesus comes along and he fulfills the law and he dies on the cross and pays the price and penalty for our sins. 
And Jesus simply says, all you need to do to be saved is to place your faith and trust in me that what I did on the cross will pay for your sins. Well, that's the whole controversy in Acts chapter 15 is them trying to figure out, well, is this open to the Gentiles or do the Gentiles have to follow a bunch of Jewish laws as well to be Christians? And well, they found out, thankfully, uh, in seeking God that all Gentiles had to do was to place their faith and trust in Jesus and they would be considered Christians and saved from their sins. So what are you doing in your life? Are there maybe ways that you try and put rules around yourself or follow specific laws in order to feel like I'm a good Christian this way? When really all you need to do is to place your trust and faith in Jesus to be a Christian.